Hello, everyone, and welcome to the APVA Awards for 2024. Today, I am joined by one of the judges. This is Tony Doe, and I'm sure most of you know him from the Tony Doe podcast. He's also an on a expert, and I want to give this opportunity to him to introduce himself. Over to you, Tony. <laughs> All right, Gina, thanks. Thanks for having me. And it's such, such a wonderful opportunity to be part of um, the third edition of the African Podcast and Voice Awards. And it felt like it was just yesterday when all this started and here we are and we're getting bigger. <laughs> so my name is Tony Doe. Um, in my LinkedIn bio, you would read that um, I find myself uh, at the converge at the convergence rather of radio and podcasts so i have a radio background um i might say it's a rich radio background and i like to think i'm one of the pioneering voices of podcasting here in nigeria so i always find a way to um be in the middle of what happens um, with radio's innovation and what happens with podcasting's growth on the continent i have a newsletter into the podverse um it's basically me sharing um, some of the biggest things happening in the podcast industry every week. And um, the audio version of it, the audio series, involves me having conversations with um, uh, leading voices in the podcast industry from all over the world. I refer to them as masters of the podverse. And there's a current version I'm running now. It's very short. It's weekly. And it's actually dedicated to the African uh, audio creator and I call that the uh indie Africa the indie African podcasters edition of into the podverse and that's every week where I share um ideas and um tips on how indie African podcasters can survive in this space because sometimes I actually I um de uh, developed it based on requests I was getting from a lot of independent African podcasters and with the kind of news that many of them were being exposed to, um, lots of stuff happening in mainstream podcasting now, and people trying to find a way to actually sustain the momentum of what they are doing with the little resources they have. Um, it just seemed imperative for me to um, do this for them. So that's at my heart. And of course, I'm a fan of Arsenal Football Club, been a fan for many years, um, older than most people I know. And I have a podcast series uh, dedicated to that as well. It's 10 years old this year. And wow. um, oh, it's taking different <laughs> things. It's taking different uh, forms. And um, since the beginning of this year, I've just decided to focus on it just being me expressing my cautious optimism of my favorite club, the best football club in the world is called Upgunners. So I produced um, Upgunners, the Tony Doe podcast, which is conversations with people in the radio space and into the podverse under my Tony Doe media umbrella. And I also still offer consultations on, for radio, uh, radio personnel as well as uh, podcasters. So that's it in a nutshell. Amazing. So that's quite a portfolio day. And thank you so much for holding the flag for Africa, especially when it comes to voiceover and podcasting and radio. I think you're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now we're going to jump straight into the questions. I have about three of them. The first one will focus more on the relevance of the APVA Awards. Then the second question will tackle your experience as a judge. And then the last one will be industry insights. So the first one is, we would love to hear your perspective on why awards like APVA are essential in our industry. How do these accolades inspire individuals and organizations to surpass their limits and strive for excellence? Well, I'm a firm believer of um, if you reward someone for doing good, you're practically encouraging the person to even do more. We mm -hmm. have a saying, uh, one of my bosses back on radio used to tell me that the reward for good work was more work. And I, I used to find it offensive, but over time, I realized that it does have its perks. And really, if you're doing good and somebody recognizes you for doing good, you're going to want to do more good. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot going on in terms of what we're doing 
with our stories. And podcasting just seems to be the newest um, medium on the platform, helping us to tell our stories our own way. Uh, we've done it with radio, we've done it with TV, we've done it with film, we've done it with books, we've done it with articles. And uh, we're always in competition with the perspectives of foreigners on what we do. And sometimes if you're not on a major platform um, to tell your stories, uh, you know, your stories don't get heard. But with podcasting, it's a lot easier. The barrier for entry is, you know, it's much lower. Now we have platforms that actually are making themselves available for local creators to host their shows and share their stories. So it's important to let the local um, storytellers know that there is a body Mm -hmm. That is their own. There is an opportunity for they themselves to actually put themselves out there, allow their supporters to um, share with the rest of the world who exactly they are and the good they are doing with their shows and their podcasts. I remember when we did the first edition, um, I remember BDME being like, I don't know if this is going to work. And it worked. I remember that many of the podcasters I spoke to had yeah. no idea they even had fans because mm -hmm. they didn't know that the people were actually going to vote for them and suggest them. Yeah. So when I speak to people, I'm like, oh, congratulations on your nomination. They're like, excuse me, what are you talking about? And I'm like, <laughs> your podcast was nominated. They're like, I had no idea we had fans. So it's a fantastic <laughs> feeling. You know, yes. and uh, I've seen many of these creators go on to even do better with their shows, expand their shows, uh, work with other people within the space to actually create great shows. So it's a great, it's a great thing to happen for us on the continent. Um, mm -hmm. There are lots of podcast events taking place outside uh, the continent and nobody's really paying attention to the stories we're telling. We're just not that big market yet. So while instead rather of waiting for them to recognize us, it's much better when we can recognize ourselves and then project that recognition to the rest of the world and tell them that, look, we know what we're doing. We recognize what we're doing. We appreciate what we're doing. Uh, please have a look and see what we're doing. So um, that's that's basically it for me. Um, we needed our own, and the fact that it's free um, for uh, podcasters to come on, and it's free for people to actually come on and vote, it speaks to the nature of what it is. We're really about the merits of audio content creators who are really doing good. 100% I agree with you and the next question is your role as a judge right in recognizing and honoring uh deserving awardees what is that looking like or how does that look like and why does it matter it's an extreme honor um third year running I'm still a judge <laughs> so it feels good <laughs> um it also avails me the opportunity of finding capturing and experiencing the shows that I may not have been able to find on my own. So it mm -hmm. also opens my mind to mm -hmm. so much more that's going on this year. I stumbled on even more. It's like for each year, there's always a set of more interesting shows. And then mm -hmm. for the returning um, nominees, there's a great improvement on you know what they had in the previous year and what they are now churning yeah. out in the new year so you see that level of growth that level of improvement it's beautiful it's amazing to see um i like the idea that um, some many of the creators are not afraid to utilize some of the innovation available you notice yeah. that um, in the podverse there's always something new there's always some new tool that would help you improve your production whether it's the video or the audio so you see creators using these tools to help um, accelerate and improve the quality of what they're doing so it's always an exciting uh, time for me I'm always listening to the different styles and the different formats and just experiencing how these creatives choose to tell their stories so Amazing. it's it's always an honor to do this wow that is so profound. Awesome. Okay, then our last question is, how is the audio industry evolving? And what are your thoughts for audio creatives 
thriving for excellence in Africa and beyond. What are your thoughts on how African audio creatives are just paving their way for excellence within Africa and the whole globe? Um, I just mentioned that there's a lot going on in the podcast <laughs> when it comes to innovation. So there's so much going on in the space uh, when it comes to how to create, who to create for, what to use to create. And for many of us Africans, uh, the, the those tools are not exactly projected towards us. We're not exactly the particular market, but we can use these tools. So how do we do this? How do we make things work? One of the biggest challenges we have on the continent, in fact, I was just having the conversation with someone, is how to get support or ways to monetize our content on the continent without the barriers of um, platforms that say they do not serve um, the continent itself. So we're looking for ways where um, fine tech companies on the continent can make uh, supporting and payment situations seamless mm. without us having to use too many third parties and all that. So, you know, if somebody wants to support you, he just clicks a link, whatever denomination or whatever currency he puts in there gets converted into your local currency, you know, as seamlessly as possible. So those yeah. are some of the innovations we're looking at that uh, should become part of the conversations when we start having our podcast conferences. And then awesome. the podcasters themselves. I I notice we have a problem with taking action. And mm. unless we do, we cannot get the results we want. We have a problem with taking action. We're not patient enough to run through that action. And we, we're not maximizing community. And that's what mm -hmm. one of the things that APVA is. It's a community. So the whole idea of us being a community is we all come together, join hands and grow together. So we need a lot more collaboration in the space. We need a lot more communities doing more for each other. And I'm hoping to address some of these things in my audio series. And I'm hoping that, you know, I can even expand the conversation. But yes, we need to collaborate more um, expand our communities, be yeah. intentional in our communities when we engage. Um, mm -hmm. And then, of course, look for local solutions to how we can support and monetize our content on the continent. 100%. Thank you so much, Tony Do. So where do people find you? Where can they find you if they want to maybe inquire for consulting or ask for some advice or any tips um, just um, your social okay. media <laughs> okay i'm most active on linkedin but you can find me on instagram and okay. uh, x which is twitter at tony do media that's media? tony do media on linkedin if you search for tony do or yeah if you search for tony do media as well on linkedin you'll find me as well and uh, you'll find my personal details on LinkedIn as well. So I'm active on LinkedIn, X and Instagram, search for Tony Do Media and I will be there. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming through to discuss and share your experience with the awards and what we can look for and anticipate um, in this year's awards. And once again, thank you for your continuous effort and contribution into making this community the best place ever. <laughs> it's my favorite place and it's home for me. And I think future and beyond, it will forever stay like that. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much right. for having me, Gina. This, this, <laughs> this has been amazing. And uh, I look forward to um success to all the uh the winners and if you got nominated you're a winner in my book so congratulations Aww. as well <laughs> awesome so there you have it viewers um this is tony do once again one of our judges for the apva hours 2024 do make sure you catch or rsvp for the watch party in your nearest area it's happening in South Africa or Zambia or any other place, Kenya, Nigeria, make sure you RSVP now so that you catch this recording then. 
till we meet again. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.